What's up kiddos? It's your friend Can and we're back with more Hive Swap Friendship Simulator. Uh, after a rousing success with Skyla, I'm feeling pretty excited and a little bit hopeful that maybe we can also befriend our jade-blooded friend over here. So let's see what happens. Look, she's adorable. Like this was an update with two Adorable girls, and I'm so excited. Also, didn't mean to assume your gender. Uh, Branya or Sama? Although, I'm pretty sure you are a girl, because from my knowledge, all Jade Bloods are girls, except uh, we do have a confirmed uh, trans Jade Blood, who I'm very, very excited to meet later on. But anyway, moving on to Branya for now. You've been traveling through a cave network for a while now. The rigid stone is a welcome respite from the eerily organic infrastructure you've been encountering, but it is also proving an unwelcome respite from friend-making. Maybe it was too much to hope for that this cavern would be home to another potential new buddy. Maybe leaving the big city behind was a horrible mistake. So far, no. It's been going pretty great. Also, I'm afraid to go in these caves. I don't think I actually want to see, like, grubs. Not that the grubs freak me out. It's the idea of, like, the ones that are, like, quote-unquote not perfect. And what happens with those. Those are the ones I'm a little concerned with. But anyway, friendship. Just maybe, these dark, cold tunnels are completely devoid of- Oh, hang on, there's a bunch of buildings in the distance. <laughs> there you are, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. I thought you were one of my girls, but you don't look like a jade blood. Or anything else, actually. How strange. You convey your usual spiel regarding your circumstances. You are lost, and lonely, and your ribs are still broken, you think? Honestly, the ribs are fine. You could just use another friend or two. <laughs> I see. My first responsibility is to my jades and the mother grub, so I can't make any promises of friendship just yet. But you do look like you need someone to take care of you. Oh, look at that cute face. Here in the brooding caverns, we follow a very... Here in the brooding caverns, we follow a few simple rules. One, don't invite drama from up da down below. Two, protect the mother grub. Three, we have no hierarchy, but do what I say. Let's do everything we can to keep up our current record dozens of sweeps without any jades being called. You're not sure what half of those words mean, but you nod your head. Good. I'll take you to our hive. Follow me. You follow her into her hive, which looks like a school or some kind of dormitory with multiple rooms and multiple floors. Usually more of my jades are around. I suppose that everyone is now watching the imperial drones arrive with the filial pails. Girls, we have a visitor to our caverns. One, do not be alarmed by their bizarre appearance. They seem to be harmless and quite weak. Two, do not give them more injuries than they already have. Our visitor deserves a warm jade blood welcome. She claps her hands. No one else is around, but you stand to attention and give her the thumbs up to show that you greet her loud and clear. You notice that she called you visitor and not friend, but that's okay. You can do whatever it takes. You can do whatever it takes until you're upgraded from visitor to friend, or at least charity case. <laughs> Ooh. You follow. Oh, I see. I see the babies. I see the babies. You follow her upstairs, and she stops at a big room on the second floor. When you step into it, you have to clap your hand over your mouth to keep from gagging at the revolting sight. There are big, baby-sized, larvae-looking things all over the floor, squirming around and crying and inchworming out of a kiddie pools of green slime. What the hell? This is our nursery. Most of the these wigglers are sick or injured, so we look after them in here until they're well enough to go back to out to the caverns and spin their cocoons. She looks shifty all of a sudden, giving you some side-eye like she's sizing you up. You try to look very non-threatening and also 100% trustworthy. We keep this nursery on the down low. It's not against any laws, but it's something of a break with the tradition to save any of the grubs instead of just letting them die. Oh, I'm fucking into you trying to save these babies. Hell yeah. To tell you the truth, 
I'm not sure why we do it. I guess it just feels right to me to take care of them, the same way I take care of my jades. A nursery, huh? You look around again with this new information. You guess you can sort of see how the Wigglers look like babies. You can't believe that one of these things could grow up into anything that looks like Bronya, but this is an alien planet, so who knows. She takes you over to a shelf that seems to hold medical supplies. You're not sure what can be done for your broken ribs, but maybe she has some kind of alien technology that can help. But when she starts going through the cabinet, you don't see anything that looks high-tech like the thing that fixed your arm. Uh, I guess that most of what we have is stuff for the Wigglers, and I'm not familiar enough with your bizarre anatomy to know if it will help. But if you're not completely sure how to do something, it's best to try anyway. One, even if you fail, everyone else can still learn from your mistake. Two, maybe you won't fail. You never know. You're not so sure about applying this ethos to your broken ribs, but she looks so determined. It might be rude to say no. Either go for it, my ribs are already broken, so what's the harm? Or two, thanks but no thanks, I'll heal on my own just fine. <sighs> she looks really excited and I feel rude. I'm probably not going to befriend her because of this and I'm just going to flat out die, but... <sighs> my ribs are already busted from the last, like, five friends. I think it's fine. Okay, come here. Okay, come here. Lift up your shirt so I can get to your injured bellow sack enclosures. Yes, like that. Turn the part that's all bloody and horrifying towards me. She has something that looks like some kind of ointment? It's a shade of bright green similar to the slime beds you see around the nursery, and it also seems to be glowing. Seems like there's nothing wrong about applying it to your skin. But despite your optimism, the second Bronya rubs some of it on your broken skin, you feel a searing hot pain like you just got doused with poison. You flinch back instinctively. Your momentum kit- No! <laughs> no! I know I just killed a grub. Oh no! You flinch back instinctively. Your momentum carries you too far, and as you step back, you trip on something behind your feet. You cartwheel your arms, but it's no use. You're going down. You're yelling temper. <laughs> really? This is not the fucking time. No. You feel something soft and squishy break your fall, and you hear a terrible squelching noise and some kind of animal squeal. You have fallen right onto one of the wrigglers. You roll off of it, but there's no use. It's squished flat and you're covered in olive fluid that you might think be its blood. You look up to see Branya's horrified face and know there's no hope for friendship in those vengeful eyes. You might want to run before I throw you out this window and break the rest of your bones. No! All three is dead. <laughs> Are you This is the second time I've killed somebody with my ass! This is unfair! This is so wrong! Oh no... Well... Oh, it's gonna... <laughs> no, no, free. Uh, I was really hoping I was gonna have some kind of connection with the Jade Bloods because I'm a Virgo, but clearly that's all bullshit. Oh boy. Well, we're back to my- we're, I'm back to my old bullshit. Clearly. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, I guess. <laughs> um, if you want to hear me ramble about uh, killing other things, I guess, uh, come follow me on Twitter at SwiftMartyrdom. I'm also on Tumblr as GatoNup, and I'm here doing things and probably, you know, killing more grubs with my ass. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!